Greetings, humans. Greetings, and welcome back to another fun-filled episode. Bear here, 29-year veteran of the woods. That's where bears live, and a great big James Bond fan, people. So we're going to be checking out tonight the second Bond in the series, the 1963 film. It would be from Russia with love. From Russia with love, people. The great Sean Connery, a number of other characters in there. We'll get to it in just a second. But uh, great, great to have all of you here with us here today. Peabody, Marco for Anthony. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I, 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 uh, listen, uh, we were going to do the... Do the From Russia with Love show tonight. Uh, we're going to power through it and do the show because there's people that enjoy the movie out there. But yes, I, I believe me. I, uh, yes. Uh, in fact, that's why Beer has his. That's why Beer has his. Uh, where is it here? That's why Beer's got his. Oops, gosh dang it. I already spilt it already, people. Martini, ready to go. I already spilt it, gosh dang it. Ah. Anyway, so uh, there we go. Yes, we know. We know all about it. Um, hopefully a little bit of counter-programming here tonight. Uh, if you want to go check out your favorite YouTube channel to uh, get in the know of what's going on in the in the world out there, the crazy world, uh, go right ahead. Bear won't, won't uh, be mad or anything like that. But we're going to do a completely, completely different here. Watching along with Bear... It'd be from Russia with love, people. So I hope all of you have either rented or uh, uh, bought. I, I apologize. I forgot to put some of the links down in the description. But, uh, you know, your favorite streaming platform or favorite um, uh, place to download would be the best place to go. Uh, maybe MGM uh, could be on there. Bear got it through the Apple. So uh, either way, go ahead and check it out. I'm not going to uh, waste too much time up up front here, but I uh, want to get everybody ready to go. Um, Bear has his, like he said, through the Apple. Uh, it's got the MGM logo at the front, so it's about 15 seconds. So we'll get it started, but just in case, you might have a version out there that doesn't have that in there. It might be a little off, so just either skip ahead or go back 15 seconds. Uh, Bear cannot show you people uh, the movie, obviously, because bad things would happen. Well, even, not the worst thing that would happen today, but uh, bad things would happen today. So, um, what we're going to be doing is the watch along. I tried to put this uh, sequenced in order with all the pictures here. So, if you don't have the movie, you can more or less follow along. You're just not going to be able to hear anything um, or, well, other than bear. Um, so, it's, it's mainly for you to watch along. So, hopefully... Uh, you've got that out there. Uh, go ahead, load it up on your favorite device. We're going to go ahead and uh, get started here momentarily. We want to say hello uh, once again, P-Money. Here for the show, looks like we need James Bond. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, anyway, so. <laughs> uh, ready at the MGM line. All right, we will we will do that here momentarily here. Let Beer get ready with what he needs to get ready with, and then we will get started um, uh, momentarily. If you are watching this, um, on the uh, on the archive channel or after the fact, Bear will put in uh, the timestamp when we get started here. But uh, let me go ahead and bring it up. One second, not a moment to waste here, people. Um, a great, a great Bond film. If you've never seen it before, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, slightly a little bit different than your normal Bond films. It's more of a traditional. Um, adventure film, uh, action as well, but more of an adventure type film. So if you're looking for a bunch of crazy gadgets and whatnot, that's not what this film is. It's a little bit more um, uh, spy versus spy is what I call it. So uh, a little bit more of a kind of an intimate uh, spy versus spy rather than a sort of world, uh, gotta save the world again type situation. So let me out here. One second here, people. One little thing. Okay, all right. There we go. Let me, let me do this. Get this out of the way. 
the way. All right, uh, since Marco for Anthony is ready to go here, uh, we will go ahead and get started. Let me, let me put it into the chat here if I can. So we're going to start. All right, uh, we're going to start it at 5, uh, 4, and again, it might be a little off because of the time here, but uh, 3, uh, 2, maybe 1, and start. We're going to start it, people. So there we go. Show it here on. I, I can't show. Beer cannot show the film, but uh, I will show this at the very beginning here. So we've got get rid of you people here. Gosh dang it. There we go. So there is, there's the start, people. So we're going to start right, right away here, people. So let's go ahead. Oh, for crying out loud. Of all days. <laughs> yai, yai. Uh, anyway, so there, there you go, people. We are, we are starting. There we go. Uh, the very first Bond film that had a... Uh, introduction before uh, the song appeared, so Dr. No didn't have that. We watched it the last time, so uh, a very interesting start. Robert Shaw, a uh, great, great actor and great villain in this film. That would be Donald uh, Red Grant. Donald Red Grant. Up here. Love the Bond film. Yes, of course. Uh, John Barry, excellent, excellent, excellent soundtrack that he did here. Um, uh, we, we also have kind of a, oh, watch out, Bond. Watch out, Bond. We've got kind of a, uh, um, a low-rent Frank Sinatra here in uh, Matt Monroe, uh, doing the From Rush With Love song. So, uh, sit back and enjoy it, people. Sit back and enjoy it. One of my favorite Bond songs to karaoke, says Mark. From Rush With Love. Great, great song, great song. Uh, probably one of Bear's... Watch out, Bond. Uh, top three or top five Bond films of all time. So uh, definitely up there. Great film. I uh, hope you all enjoy. Yeah, they have statues in there, people. I, mean, it's, uh, I, I like it. I like the theme of all this. Ah, drinking more more. Oh, I apologize, people. It's a little, little off here. Try not to spoil this for people. Try not to. Robert Shaw, once again, great actor. Uh, you probably know him as the boat captain in Jaws. Very shark-like in this movie. They killed James Bond. <laughs> I love that sound effect. Or did they? They actually had a guy that looked just like Sean Connery. They shot it and they took the mask off. It was like, wait a minute. It, it looks just like Sean Connery. So they had to reshoot that. And uh, I get a guy with a mustache. After the first film, after the first film, they wanted to have, have a very interesting introductions. They, they wanted to kill off Bot in the first couple minutes. So there we go. There, there is, and that, that kind of goes into later on in the film that we see. So every, all great stuff. All, all payoffs and setups. Setups and payoffs. Great stuff. And any movie that has belly dancers in there is A-OK -okay by Bear. A-OK. -okay. Robert Shaw. Bernard Lee. Uh, Daniela uh, Bashani. We'll, we'll talk about her in a minute here. Uh, probably one of the best Bond girls out there. Definitely, uh, definitely a looker for sure. And Leela, the belly dancer. <laughs> Did they hire him just to get shot? Well, he didn't get shot. He got strangled. But uh, yeah, <laughs> apparently that's 
A tough assignment. Uh, Sid Kane doing the art direction uh, took over uh, from uh, Ken Adam, uh, who did uh, Doctor No. Uh, he he ended up going uh, to do um, Doctor Strangelove with the big sets and all that sort of stuff. Big set designer, so he did he did that and came back for um, Goldfinger and a number of the other ones. But uh, we're missing a little bit of the set piece there. That's all right. Sid Kane did just fine. A lot of um. A lot of on-location shots. Pretty cool. They, they shot a lot of this stuff on location in, in um, Istanbul. Lionel Bart, John Barry doing the great score here. Just knocking it out of the park. And, of course, Terrence Young directing. So there you go, people. Uh, he also did Dr. No as well. And there we are, in Venice. We actually start in Venice and we end in Venice. Spoiler alert. There's your Canadian appearance, people. In a chess match. Uh, Kronstein, Kronstein, played by uh, Vladek uh, Shebil, uh, a Polish actor. Polish actor playing as a Czech. There's a lot of that going on in this film. He money saw Canada? Woo hoo! Woo and who, sir? I mean, it kind of reminds you of some of the big art uh, set pieces in the previous film, but um, uh, this is pretty much the only one here. Hey, look, pal, can't you see I'm playing chess here? Come on, man. So we see Kronstein. He's being called. Called by Spectre. Gonna finish it up pretty quick here. Your next move might be your last, says Mark. That does it. Well, he didn't give up. He, he he was trapped. That was it. That was, it was checkmate. He's brilliant. Brilliant people. Doesn't doesn't uh, shake hands either. Apparently, I really wanted to shake his hand. And, it's like, hell no, man! Can't you see I'm a grand chess champion here? I'm gonna just walk around shaking people's hands all the time. <laughs> so he's not called Blofeld in the film just yet. That comes later on. He's number one. Uh, that was played uh, by Anthony Dawson, who you might remember as the professor in um, uh, Dr. No. So, so he kind of sort of reappears, but uh, playing a different character. The professor died in the first movie. Spoiler alert! And where is Amy and Melissa at? We've got cats in this movie, for crying out loud. Uh, let Lena, uh, she plays uh, Rosa Kleb, a famous German actress, playing a Russian. Yep, Spectre, you got it, Mark. Yes. 
Yes, indeed. That's right. <laughs> so they're setting it all up here. Uh, setting up the entire movie. You gotta go after a MacGuffin. Uh, they're gonna send James Bond to go check it out. He might think that it's a trap, but he's British, so uh, he's gonna go along with it. What the heck? Why not? Full proof. So it's a little bit of setup here at the very beginning, but we'll get to James Bond here in just a moment. Don't worry, people. He's coming. So the decoder, the lecture decoder, is kind of your MacGuffin that everybody's going after. Really, it's more character work. So don't don't worry about the don't worry about the lecture so much. No comment, P money. No comment. Urgh. I should have told Amy and Melissa there was gonna be cats in this movie. They they would have came right away. Whoops, let me get to you. Trevor Shaw. Okay. On Spectre Island. Spectre Island. Where everybody wants to go. Lovely ladies. Yeah, you get your workout, and then you get your uh, uh, massage afterwards. on Spectre Island. Welcome to Spectre Island. So he's kind of the anti-Bond almost. It's kind of interesting. And look at this. Just very subtle. You, you probably missed it. Very subtle there, but it's, you know, even henchmen need love. Especially on Spectre Island. I love the training area that they have here. So you're asking about the poor guy. Well, look, look at the guys being trained on. <laughs> Flamethrowers? All sorts, man. You gotta watch yourself on Spectre Island. They use live targets. Bear knows all about that. Urgh. She can't do a good massage unless she takes her clothes off. Wouldn't disagree with that. So a 60-year-old woman hits the guy one time, and yep, he's good to go. I like him. Good enough for me. Checks out. Better be important. You interrupted my massage, says There you go. <laughs> Tatiana Romanov. Tatiana Romanov. She is the Soviet, um, what do they call them? Like, uh, cri crypto, crypt cryptographer, I, I forget. Cryptographer. There we go. Ugh. Tongue twister. 
Uh, Daniela, Daniela uh, Bacini, Daniela Bacini. She was actually a Miss Universe winner, uh, one Miss Universe. They were looking for, you know, the perfect, perfect Bond film for the next movie. And says, hey, why don't we take the Miss Universe lady? And uh, you, you wouldn't know that she's kind of a first-time actress here. She does a really great job. Really great job. Uh, the one thing probably wouldn't know unless Bear told you here, but uh, uh, had a very thick Italian accent. So you have there is uh, Robert Shaw keeping tracks. He's, all, he's always in the distance there, like a shark. Uh, uh, Italian actress. So she had a very thick accent. So they had to had to redub uh, her lines there. So you've got an Italian playing a Russian. You've got a German playing a Russian. A Pole playing a uh, Czech. All sorts of stuff. Smirsh indeed. Comrade Colonel. Now, if you didn't catch it in the very previous scene there, uh, the colonel, uh, she likes the ladies out there, which is kind of very interesting for 1963. And, and, and the Soviets, they were, they were ahead of their time, man. They were DEI before they were, anybody was DEI. Uh, Let Lena is the actress's name. Very, very great uh, German actress. Hope the Canadian was played by a Canadian, says Peabody. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to look that up. I, I don't. He wasn't in the movie for very long. Most important assignment. So this is all the setup, all the setup here. Spectre's trying to get the Russians and the USA to fight against each other, and then uh, take take all the prize. Kind of like the WEF, if you think about it. Smack! Watch out! In the book, she was kind of a expert torture, torture expert, I suppose. So, kind of a, a nasty piece of work. So finally, finally we get to James Bond here. And really one of the few times that you hear the theme song. Yes, the song. Yeah, there you go. Well, she didn't know she was joining the bad guy, Pew Money. It's kind of a um, a twist on it. She thinks she's still working for the Russians, but she's actually working for the, uh, the Spectre. The very first appearance of a pager in a movie. He's got a pager and a freaking cell phone in his car, yo! 1963! 1963. He's also driving a Bentley in this. Uh, the 1933 Bentley. It supposedly won the 24 Hours of Le Mans, so... Not every film he has on Aston Martin. Uh, Sylvia Trench. Sylvia Trench was the uh, lady that he picked up in Dr. No at the very beginning of the film, so it's it's kind of his girlfriend. Uh, it's the last appearance that she has in the, in the series. She was supposed to come back uh, several times, but uh, it was the last appearance for her. 
also be here. There's your Canadian right there. There you go, man. <laughs> and of course, Bernard Lee is him. Cypher Clerk. There we go. That's close. So they figure it's a trap, but they're going to go anyways. Just, hey. We can't pass it up, people. Can't pass it up. I think it's funny that Bond's like, it's a cipher clerk, so he's probably like, eh, you know, whatever. No big deal, cryptography lady, I don't care. And then he takes a look at the picture, he's like, yeah, I don't have any time. I, I can do it. Sure. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, Bond. Not coming up to expectations. So it's Major Boothroyd. Uh, it's from Q Branch. He doesn't become Q until the next movie. Uh, Desmond Lewinham. Uh, they had a, a another gentleman in the first film. Uh, he decided not to come back for the second one. And uh, Desmond jumped in and ran the role <laughs> until he died. So pretty good. Not bad at all. The other guy was probably kicking himself. An AR, baby. Back in 1963. <laughs> the weapon of war. That's a lot of money. And they play all this stuff straight. Um, you know, the, the sort of gadgets. Kind of the first time that they're doing gadgets here. It's all played straight. You know, it's not like cars that are submarines and all this other stuff. It's uh, Most of the movie is just straight tradecraft spy tradecraft that they do so they got they got a couple funny things in here the uh exploding cartridge that has the tear gas in there we'll see it later it's uh, pretty cool pretty cool they, they played it pretty straight do you look at the picture and think well i'm dumping my girlfriend uh, probably sounds about pretty close don't blow yourself up on See you next movie, Q. So it's it's just a simple briefcase that he has. That's, that's all it is. Pretty cool. Ah, my penny. Always very playful. <laughs> Except for that photograph that you have. <laughs> so he's doing the thing. He's writing the title of the movie. Bear, 
doctor here. Kind of mirrors uh, the doctor no a little bit. So that'll come up later. They're, they're sort of code words that they have there. Because they got picked up by the bad guys, the last, the last film, so they had to make sure. Kind of a mirror of Dr. No as well when he arrived on the island. Pretty cool. Oops, I got it on the wrong one here. Apologize, people. One second, let me get to it. Cover the eyes. There we go. There we are. So he notices right away that he's being tailed. <laughs> Right away, got right off the airplane. I'm already being killed. Gosh dang it. The freaking Bulgarians. Ah, oh, god damn it. And now we're kind of friends with the Bulgarians and at odds with Turkey, so go figure, people. I like all the old cars. Did the last chauffeur for Bond get killed? Uh, wasn't it hard to hire a replacement? Well, he, he was actually the Spectre guy in Dr. No. He, he took the cyanide pill. So, so that's why they had the, had the uh, uh, keywords there to make sure. Hey, are you, are you you? Yeah, I'm me. Okay, cool. Speaking of cool... Ari Karim Bey. Uh, played, played by Pedro, uh, how do you pronounce this? Armadillas, Armadillas. Armendariz, pardon me, Armendariz. A famous Mexican actor playing a, uh, Turk. All one of his sons. Half of Turkey is his sons. Uh, Pedro, uh, they found out he had a, a very bad terminal cancer during the movie. They had to switch around the uh, scenes to be able to film him and get some of his audio dialogue. He, he ended up going back to Mexico... Uh, back to the United States to get uh, treatment. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately died before the movie even got finished. It'd be kind of interesting to think if, if he reappeared in the later films, but unfortunately, unfortunately passed here. Uh, one of his sons, his actual son in the film here, uh, was in one of the Timothy Dalton movies. So very interesting. So the Spectre guy took over the Bulgarian car, pretending to be the Russians here. Only in a Bond film can you get away with just going into a hotel room, looking around, 
for two minutes. You got an awesome theme song to go with it. He just looks around the hotel room. I mean, not many films would take the time to just kind of, let's, let's have our main character walk around the hotel room for a minute. And I like it, people. Errol likes it. You don't have a theme song playing when you enter the woods? I need to get one. That's right, Mark. Thank you. Who definitely needs to get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got a bug in it. Yeah, it's got a bug in it. I love how he does the phone. Just drops it on the bed with the receiver in hand. Real sweet it is. The sound design in the film is just great. I, I love that. All, all the stuff that you need and none of the stuff that you don't. So uh, they, they did a really good job with this. Wait a second. What's going on here? Why's that car just sitting around? Dun, 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 dun. Oops, a little bit off here. Sorry, people. Where are we? I tried. They're trying, people. It's close. Close enough. Here we go. The Hagaya Sophia in uh, Turkey. Great cathedral, then turned into a mosque, then turned into a museum, then turned into a mosque again. <laughs> it's tough work, man. You're a spy in Istanbul. Back to the salt mines. I, I gotta make love to my lady here. That's a tough job. Somebody's gotta do it, I guess. Oh my god. Now I could say something about another attempted hit. But I'm not. I'm going to keep it straight here, people. Keep it straight. Trying to kill him at his desk. He's saved by the girl. <laughs> oh, it cycled through. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. All right, hold on one second, people. Apologize. Thing. I'll put you people back up here for a second. Oh! 
I pour myself another martini. God dang it. Really? I don't believe you. <laughs> I love how he says really. Really? I don't know about that, man. It's a little janky to me. Constantine. Alright, here we go. I'm running out of martini. That's no good. Never good to run out of your martini. Alright, let's see if I can... <coughs> do this without spilling it here. Do it without spilling it here. One second. Where am I at? Where am I at here? Alright, we're gonna do this. Well, I'll spill it. Alright, cheers, people. Hope you're enjoying the show here. Hope you're enjoying the show. If you're not, just keep quiet. <sighs> good. Good, good, good. Yeah, we just need to put this periscope in. What's this periscope doing in the sewers? Eh, don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't think about it too much. A hell of a blow in it. Look at that. That's that's pointing fingers and yelling. Did he hire a contractor saying, I need a periscope built in the sewers? That, that's that's a very specific contractor. I mean, you got you gotta make sure that he's insured, bonded, and part of the union as well. Hey, so, so does Bear. Hubba hubba. Looks good from here. But a bump. But a bump. That's correct. <laughs> That's kind of creepy how he said yes, but all right, whatever. We'll go with it. Yeah, that place is bugged. It probably has bed bugs, too. One would imagine. One of his sons. He's got like 500 sons. <laughs> the gypsies. The gypsies. Oops. Ah, oh, the gypsies. Bond goes out of his way to go to a belly dancer. Like, yeah, I always got killed, but uh, hey, we need to go see a belly dancer. And a cat fight. I want to know what's on the other end of that periscope that causes the men not to notice. I don't know, man. That's a good question. Very good question. Size of that radio. Holy cow. So they're going to uh, shoot this in Turkey. We're gonna shoot shoot all the the gypsy uh, camp here in, uh, in in Turkey on location. They had a uh, tax credit through the uh, British government 
So, so they had to film the scene here in uh, in England. So it's kind of interesting. They needed the tax break. Milky stuff. I'm gonna drink my martini instead. Any movie that has a belly dancer for like a minute or two, just out of the blue for whatever the heck, that's good in Bear's book. Good in Bear's book here. There you go, Vaughn. Welcome to the gypsy camp. Lots of drinking going on. I'll, I'll drink to that. <laughs> I love to smile. <laughs> Look out, dude. See, he's trying to catch a peak instead of garden. That's what happens. You get a knife in the back. Freaking Bulgarians. God dang it. Eat them so much. So the Bulgarians are going to go attack the village. Spectre is there to make sure that they don't kill Bond. Plenty of comments in the chat about belly dancers. Always good. <laughs> Alright. Now we get to the actual cat fight. Finally! Forget that belly dancing. We need a cat fight, gosh dang it. Why? Eh, what the hell? Why not? So, Eliza Gurr? Uh, she was also in the Miss Universe. Uh, that's her right here. Um, uh, Miss Israel. It's Israel out here, so uh, they, they were going to be fighting um, uh, uh, Marine Bestwick. Uh, she was a Jamaican actress, a uh, British-born Jamaican actress. They, they uh, choreographed the fight uh, for like two or three weeks, and then uh, uh, one of the girls just decided, I'm just going to fight like hell. So this is all real. This this isn't like... This isn't uh, uh, stunt people or anything. They're not. They're not pulling punches, people. This is a, this is a hardcore cat fight. Caught on film. Look at that. Yeah, we all are, P Money. We all are content of watching. I mean, why not? I mean, they were good friends, but on the day of the filming, they just uh, decided to just start fighting. It's crazy. <laughs> Look out! The Bulgarians! Watch it, donkey! Don't shoot the donkey. For whatever, whatever you do, don't shoot the donkey. Shoot the Bulgarians instead. 
<laughs> I don't know what that guy was thinking. Look out, bud! I, I don't know how that helped. I don't know how that helped any, but that's alright. Gotta go kill some stinking Bulgarians. Bond's thinking, I'll sleep with whoever survives. Well, just wait. Just wait, Peabody. If, if he survives, actually. I think about that. Oh, that was a good part. Ah, gotta pace myself. So Red Grant, he's just kind of watching over the whole thing. Kind of instigated the whole situation. Is kind of making sure that Bond makes it out. Look out, Bond! I'm not sure how that helped either. That's all right, whatever. Look out, Bond! Oh, thank goodness, the bad guy killed the other bad guy. Whew. Dang Bulgarians. Hate them so much. Now let the cat fight recommence, he says. Well, just wait. <laughs> How many rounds is in that gun, asked Peabody? I don't know. Plenty. His son. There's sons all over the place. Stop the girl fight. Oh, that's so nice. So decide. <laughs> what a terrible choice. Ah, oh, the horror. I mean, they were literally about to kill each other. But, uh, I, I guess that's what the Bulgarian attack does to you. You, you go from, go from, uh, hating the other girl and wanting to rip her eyes out to, uh, hey, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a threesome here. Why not? What the heck? And may maybe not. Maybe they just, they all just got a great night's sleep. You know, it, it could have been that as well. I become Muslim. I'll take both. <laughs> oh goodness. Oops. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Come again. So to speak. So to speak. There we go. You went from live and let live to I'm going to kill that stinking Bulgarian. Go AR. That's right. American made, baby. Wait, no, I hate guns. A uh, boo! Boo! Boo armor light.
So the Call Me Rowani is a, uh, it's another Broccoli and Salsman film, so great, uh, they, they were the producers on the film, so great, uh, great advertising. Cross-promotion. Those are also his sons. God, the guy's just like, man. <laughs> Has a lovely mouth. But a bump. But a bump. Oh, the puns. My shoulder is shot, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll use this gun, no problem. Quick! Shoot him, dude! Shoot him! Is that what the, the, the gator, gator people say? Shoot him! What a bump. Should have kept her mouth shut. That's right. Let's do that. All right, for the ladies out there, all, uh, all, all one or two of you watching, uh, for the ladies out there, a little, little Sean Connery eye candy for you. Why not? I need to need some dental work. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. I, I don't know, P. Money. I don't know. That would have been a tough situation there. But, uh, you shot my son. One of 5,000 sons that I have. Now, why did they include a scene where Sean Connery takes off his shirt? Well, they may be the ladies out there. You know, they can't give it all to the fellas. You know, the Bulgarians are looking after you, but, uh, hey, I'm going to go take a shower. Why not? What the heck? Now, she is nude in that. I mean, that's got past the censors. That's pretty cool. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened, man. Miss Universe. Miss Universe. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> My friends call me James Bond. Yeah, okay. That's because she's Miss Universe, Sean. Which they ended up using uh, this scene. Uh, for all the subsequent Bonds that they were testing out to figure out who was going to be the next Bond, um, they used this scene to, to do a screen test. You know, so Daniel Craig or Timothy Dalton or some of the others out there, That's this is the scene that they performed. Pretty cool. 
Any other circumstance, a naked man walking into a bedroom with a gun would result in the woman screaming. That's true. So we saw that earlier in the film. With, with his other girlfriend. So she's trying to make sure that it's the right James Bond. In the morning. I hope he has his coffee. Probably gonna need it, too. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, man. Those stinking Bulgarians. Once again, at it again. James Bond's just trying to show his lady some love. I gotta, I gotta make a film out of it, Crank. Bunch of weirdos. Bunch of weirdos, man. So this is actually San Sofia, which is a, uh, well, probably still is, a, a mosque. So there is the Hagia Sofia in the background. San Sofia. Stolen? Gosh dang Muslims, I tell you, man. I tell you. Pretty cool place, though. I, I, I kind of like it. Pretty, pretty interesting looking. They didn't have the big uh, set pieces um, uh, when, they, when they had Ken Adams, uh, but uh, using the San Sofia and some of the other stuff looked pretty good, though. At the underworld as well, so some of that stuff. So Bond's going, trying to get some information. Oh, that sees the stinking Bulgarians. Gosh dang it, man. You gotta be careful. He he wears his sunglasses at night. Probably so people cannot see him crying. So again, a lot of stage craft, or stagecraft, a lot of craft, uh, spycraft out there. So a dead drop, we're doing a dead drop here. Uh, very, very traditional spycraft stuff, pretty cool. Then somebody else shows up, out of the blue, takes out the stinking Bulgarians. Robert Shaw just plays a great villain. I, I wish he was in it more. He's just kind of in the background a lot of times. Uh, except for later in the film, though. But, uh, uh, excellent actor, uh, did a great job. I, I love the, the, uh, the dichotomy between the two. He's kind of the mirror Bond, almost. Pretty cool. <laughs> Die of old age. <laughs> must this guy must not have a lot of social life if he spends every day following people. That's, that's one way to make friends, I suppose. Again, really amazing that uh, Pedro here, he, he's, he's dying of cancer and is still kind of, you know, a, a great presence on screen. I, I really wish he would have uh, survived. He, he ended up committing suicide, actually, so. Um, I only took the job so his, his family could get the money, so uh, very cool. 
I mean, not cool that he died, just very cool, very cool actor. Oops. Okay. Once again, there. Gosh dang it. There we go. There we go. So they're going to meet up here on a ferry. Kind of a meet up quickly. They go from there. So now, now we're getting into it, people. It took a little bit to set up, but now we're into the meats of the whole matter here. I trust the map. I, I trust the woman's map over your blueprints, says P. Mike. <laughs> it's a danger. Sean Connery often smokes. Don't smoke, kids. Uh, I wonder if Daniel Craig ever smoked in the movies. Uh, not in the James Bond ones. Uh, he, he may have in other movies. I, I don't know that for a fact. but uh, Especially here in America. Nowadays, if you smoke, you're a bad guy. You, usually, you see somebody smoking, they're probably the bad guy in the film. But he went with a gun? Yay, yeah, they're the great guy. They're, they're a good guy. <laughs> Look at the old recorder. <laughs> Bond is not taking a face foot uh, photograph here. Oh, shoot. Left my martini out. <laughs> I love how everybody's just gathered around. Day or night, tell me more. <laughs> Money Penny's face. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Tokyo stays in Tokyo, Mark. What happens in Tokyo stays in Tokyo. Gosh dang it. Hey, that's today. Today's the 13th. Well, uh, maybe infamously, but here we go. Or Money Penny getting a lot of secondhand smoke. Yeah. What you do for the job, apparently. Alright, we better leave the freaking marquee. Running out of martinis. That's alright. Always. Oh, I got a little bit. Yeah, you said it, people. Honey. You said it. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, people. Let me 
Cheers, everybody. Cut. Ah, here we go. Oh, oh, God, gosh, dang it. It's only tear gas. Yeah, don't get superstitious on the 13th. Like, is there any bad things that happen on the 13th of any month? I mean, I can't think of any. I mean, not recently, at least. Gotta need a drink. God, if you don't hate the press, you don't hate them enough, people. That's a side rant for me. So. Thank God I'm doing a... Thank God I'm doing a watch-along instead of a normal show. Ah! Anyhow. Shut up, Bear. Drink your martini. So they couldn't shoot rats, uh, film rats, I should say, uh, in England for some reason. I don't know why. So they had to go to Spain to film the rats. They were going to try and shoot it in England, but they, they were white rats, so they had to put them in, like, cocoa dust, but it just wasn't going to work. So they said, screw it, we're going to go to Spain. I, I guess maybe that's where Sean Connery got his... You know, fear of rats that we see in uh, The Last Crusade. Was it Connery that was afraid of rats, or was it Harrison Ford? I think it was Connery, right? It's gotta be. Gotta be. So, funny story. They, they shot a lot of this stuff on, on location. You know, at Istanbul, at the train station. A lot of people were watching. You know, crowds of people were around watching them film. And uh, they, they had a hard time trying to get to the train track and do all the filming and all that sort of stuff. So they had a, they had a stunt double, like a, a street away. He was hanging out the window. You know, it looked like Bond and everything. So the, the crowd went over uh, to, the, uh, to the faux Bond over there and watched whatever was going on over there so they could actually shoot uh, this scene here. Pretty cool. All right, where am I? Where am I? Come on, where? Ah, there we go. Okay, one second. <sighs> Keeping it straight for you people. This is hard. This is 700 and some odd uh, images here. We gotta go through. So there's a lot, people. Hope you're happy. <laughs> Caroline. Uh, yeah, I thought so, P-Money. Thank you. Thank you. It's a song. <laughs> So Karim Bey is his uh, uh, way to get off, way to go, way to get out of the country here. Uh, they're going to be going up through uh, uh, what, what what would have been Yugoslavia back then, so uh, 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 Russian Soviet controlled Yugoslavia. Oh, that's all right. International man of mystery, and also a fashion expert as well, James Bond. Where he got this from, I have no idea. 
Like, like you're running, but uh, apparently he had time to go shopping. Such is the life of James Bond. <laughs> you might be able to now. God dang Bulgarians. Urgh. Hate them so much. For my next trick, I'll make your clothes disappear, says Peter. <laughs> feet. Hashtag feet. I'm with you, Bay. That drink. I need a drink. Oh, God, I need a drink. <sighs> See, I told you he was a fashion expert. Yeah, good thing there's no cell phones or internet in Comfortable as possible. <laughs> Fashion expert. What did I tell you, people? That's right. It's all going downhill from there. <laughs> What a great actor. I wish he was still around. Oh, goodness. There's old Robert Shaw. Like a shark. Old Red Grant. And yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, like how she, I like how playful she is. One of the best... One of the best Bond girls out there, I would say. Probably, definitely top three, for sure. For afternoon tea? <laughs> Told you, P Money. Which, by the way, I uh, wanted to make mention here. One of the reasons that the film was made uh, was it was John F. Kennedy's. President John F. Kennedy's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one of his uh, favorite books uh, of all time. That was really well read, too. So uh, uh, they were actually, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they actually showed this uh, November of... 1963, which uh, unfortunately was one of the last films that uh, JFK was ever able to see. He uh, uh, was assassinated by a bunch of dirty commies uh, not but a day or two later. So a uh, very interesting, uh, interesting thing there. All right, where am I? None of the history lesson, Bear. Let's see, where are we? But yeah, what one of his favorite, favorite books, and uh, hopefully one would assume uh, favorite movies as well. One would hope. So we're watching a movie. Uh, loved by a guy assassinated. Well, he wasn't. Uh, uh, Kennedy was assassinated in November. Uh, 
1963, so yeah, very, very fortuitous, I guess, uh, that, that uh, we're, we're watching it here today. God knows Beard did not plan this. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's kind of interesting how it all kind of circles back around. <laughs> you think, Mark? <laughs> there you go. Here's a bunch of money. Keep quiet. You're not one of his sons, are you? Right in the back, too. Look at that. How he gets stabbed in the back by the guy he just killed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he fell backwards. That's what happened. Looks like suicide to me, says b an unfortunate suicide. Being stabbed in the back. So this is kind of the twist in the movie here. It's like, okay, we had our plan. We're going to do everything just right. And all of a sudden... Oh, beautiful car, man. Holy cow. And then all of a sudden, he's, he's questioning. Questioning, rather, uh, for Tatiana. Whose side is she on? Ouch! He's going to do worse than that. Oof. Ouch. See, he knows now. He knows something's up now. Take that, take that McGuffin away from her, man. Oops. Belgrade. Yugoslav. Now they shot this actually at the Turkish... Uh, station that we saw just a little while ago. Uh, obviously, they were going to have a little bit of issue you know, trying to film in Soviet-controlled Belgrade. A little hard to do there. I love this. Robert Shaw just kind of behind him the whole time. He's kind of lurking there. Like a shark. See, this is the, the key phrase that uh, old Red Grant was watching along too. Oops, I'm repeating. Let's see, where am I? Hold on one second. Let's see. There we go. There's 
Robert Shaw again. Let me uh, let me do this number. See what you get, people are saying. He goes from sleeping to hitting very fast. Yeah, he does. Fox says it's 5.30. It's dark that early. Yeah, apparently. We got tr a train or the, uh, you know, uh, I guess they turn off all the lights in Delray. At least that's how it works. <laughs> I suspect your father might have died by uh, people a woman slept work for. Hmm. Slept with works for. Hmm. Probably. Couldn't, couldn't discount that for sure. Not at all. Not at all, people. Not at all. All right, where am I? Gosh, it's amazing. I am Zagarev. What, what is it? Zagarev. Whatever the hell. I don't know, man. I don't speak Bulgarian or Yugoslavian or whatever the heck. Uh, that is the uh, Broccoli's. Uh, his wife and mother, or her mother, apparently. Uh, the producer, the producer, put his uh, wife and, and her mother in the picture there. Legend has it uh, Ian Fleming is also in one of these uh, train scenes. I haven't, like, looked for him or anything like that, but the, the author, the author of the Bond series... Um, he, he died shortly after the movie came out. Maybe it was on a mirror and it actually says Bear Grass. I'll rename it. What the heck, man? Uh, the, the Secret Service or the agent that uh, uh, Red Grant there was meeting, Robert Shaw was meeting. Uh, th they had the actor, and the actor came down sick, so it was actually one of the uh, uh, location scouts that ended up being the agent there. Kind of interesting. I like the sound design. It's great. I mean, you know what they're saying. You, you don't have to hear them again, so you just have the, the sound effects of the train and all that stuff. I like it. It's great. It's great, people. Great stuff. Robert Shaw, great actor. You know, he puts on the fake accent. Terrific, man. Terrific. Nice suitcase, but it does explode like mine. Stay tuned, Peabody. Stay tuned. Old man. Do they still say old man? You look very fit. Hit him with the brass knuckles. There you go. <laughs> So he doesn't know that this is not not the guy he's supposed to be meeting. Old man, that old Sean Connery, bunch of geezer. Holy cow, man. Careful, careful open it up. Underwear, gun, all the stuff that you put in to your suitcase. How they got through TSA, I have no idea. None whatsoever.
Apparently you can just jump on trains with guns and knives and nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Yes, indeed. There you go. <laughs> No hot pictures of girls in the briefcase. Well, he, he is British, so, you know. You know how that goes. The red kind? The red kind? How dare you? Are you even British, sir? See, Bond knew right away. Bond knew right away. Red? Wait a minute, what? With fish? You don't, you don't drink red wine with fish? What kind of heathen are you? Clumsy. Just stupid and clumsy. Come on, waiter. Where the hell are you at, man? It'll take me to get some service around here in this train. So Bond notices right away. Something, something suspect with this guy. Red wine with fish. How dare you? Uh, I'll drink my martini. There was no martinis drunk in this movie, people. Not, not one at all. Crazy. Craziness. Ah, that's good. Ah, it's getting a little warm. Hey, uh, you're the one that drugged her, dude. What the hell? Come on, man. What's going on here? She already knows. Oh. Oh, oh, second. Yeah. Just come over here. Do -do 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 -do. Nothing, nothing bad's gonna happen. Come here, old man. Smash! Ow! That hurt. That hurt, James. So this whole scene, it's actually the longest in the movie. About ten minutes. Uh, the whole scene, it, it was shot in about three weeks. Uh, Terrence Young, uh, he, he was the director. Uh, he, he grew up uh, boxing. So he knew a little bit about uh, fighting in the fight sequence. Um, probably the uh, best fight sequence in a Bond film, at least up until the Daniel Craig era, which ironically enough took it from uh, the Bourne, the Bourne movies out there, which the Bourne movies took it from Russia with Love. So one of the great uh, fight scenes coming up here. Sorry, people. Spoiler alert. They're going to fight. He knew it. Yeah, I knew it all along. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, he was able to withstand a six-year-old woman's punch. I like this, where Bond starts to figure it out. You know, he's gotten the clues, but now he's just putting it all together here. And what a great actor Robert Shaw. 
he, he went from the fake English accent to, I, I'm assuming, some sort of Eastern European sort of English. Very, very cool. Very subtle. Uh, that is a just a solid actor. Solid. Yes, they will be fighting. They're not going to be playing chess. Well, they're, they're playing a verbal chess. But yeah, great fight scene coming up. Very uh, visceral. Um, uh, claustrophobic as well. It's in the small little space here. Um, a, a great editing that went along with it. But um, uh, they are... They're going to be throwing real punches here. Uh, th these aren't uh, uh, stunt doubles. No, they're, they're, they're throwing some hits here, man. So now we start to figure out what's going on the entire movie. James Bond's, all right. Now I know what I gotta do here. Old man. They already had it planned out, man. Like a chess champion. Man, just slapped. A man slapped. I mean, he could have punched him, but no, he just slapped him. Why does the bad guy always think sharing the entire master plan to the person he's uh, plans to kill is a good idea? Because, like, you know, he needs to get it off his chest. You know, uh, the... You know, psychotic murderers, you know, they usually don't go to therapists, so it's kind of like his therapy. Crawl over and kiss my boot. There you go, man. Remember Shaw, great, great villain in this movie. Just excellent. I, I wish he was in it more. This is just a great scene. Not going to take the bait. Not at all. Red Grant. I just want a cigarette. Like some sex first, and then the cigarettes. Then you can shoot me. That would be about it. Not with you, though. No, the, the, the girl in the other room. Not that, not that way. I'm James Bond for crying out loud. He's tricking a bee money. A little bit of trickanery here. Grant might have the strength, but Bond has the smarts. Kapow! Thank you, Q. Yeah, so all this fight, this is all that this is their punches? They're not they're not throwing their punches? They're pulling they're throwing punches, but they're not pulling punches. Or kicks. Or kicks for that matter. So a very good fight scene. I think this is Probably the best Bond fight scene in the entire 25 film series. Look at this. 
and they're not they're not uh, uh you know uh stunt doubles it's it's the actual actors doing this so it took him a couple weeks to do this but all the punches landed i mean the kicks the punches everything in a tight quarter great stuff bear approved greedy dummy says mark that's true hi -ya! I don't know what he's doing there. So this was all set up in the very first scene where they showed Bond dying as the guy put the, you know, tried to strangle him here. But he strangled a mustache fella instead of James Bond. chokes him on his own hoisted on his own Captain Picard or something like that. There you go. Straighten the tie up, Bond. After you kill a guy, make sure that you look good. Just in case. Just in case. Old man. Old man. He really was bothered by that. He's really bothered by the old man comments. Let's see. Uh, it's not like a kung fu type fight. It looks like the two guys in a brawl make it look more authentic. Because they were actually fighting Peabody. I mean, they were throwing punches. They were there, there wasn't no ducking either. Holy cow. Yeah, it is great. Great. I like it. I liked it a lot. Sovereigns are some beautiful coins, says Mark. Come on, Tanya. Get it together. I know you were just drugged, but we need to go running. The only thing I don't like about this scene is it's a little too dark. I think that maybe they shot it at twilight or something like that. Usually they'll shoot it like a daytime and then do an effect with it. Um, usually like a filter on the camera or something like that. Uh, they, they may have been doing this at, at twilight. You don't see too many shadows. You see a couple, but uh, it's not too bad. But it's, it's just a little dark. Wasn't he punched in the face? Shouldn't his face have more bruises on it? Not our star. We can't have any bruises on our star, no. Gut punches for sure. We we know that's uh, Grant's weakness out there. No the red Grant. They got a punch to the stomach. I like how his escape route is a is a flower truck. Nobody will suspect us in this flower truck. We're going to be going through Yugoslavia. Nobody will know. Be like, oh, they're just delivering flowers. Let's leave them alone. Not sure how that works in Soviet Yugoslavia, but there you go. I don't know how he's going to run away, but okay. He's like, I was going to run away after being knocked out and tied up, but uh, because you said don't run away, I think I'm going to stay here. I think I'm going to stay here. Yeah, and a bed of flowers. There you go. Bear, bear, bear. So people, we've had foot chases, we've had car chases, we've had not really a train chase but action on a train, now we're going to have helicopter chase. <laughs> there are so many chases in this movie. 
I mean, modern movies today couldn't do this. I guess the only thing that we're missing is, like, submarines or, uh, you know, something in space. We'll get that the next couple bonds. <laughs> He's a bad boyfriend. Sleeps with her. Uh, he didn't drug her. It was the other guy that drugged her. Uh, hits her. And then gets mad uh, at her to move it after she's been drugged. That's true. Yeah, I don't know how safe that is having grenades in your helicopter. I don't think that's a good idea. It's not OSHA approved. Yeah, they'll never bomb the truck. They're just going to go after me. Again, all real, all practical. Uh, it might have been a stunt double here, but uh, still, they're trying to cut down a stunt double with a helicopter. That's pretty boss, man. Look at that. <laughs> That's not CGI, people. Chopper must hate flowers. That's true. Get to the chopper. Or don't get to the chopper, because it's going to kill you, Bond. Look at that. Look at that, people. Dodging a helicopter. Now, if it looks a little familiar, uh, From Russia With Love was actually going to be made, believe it or not, by Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, it's going to star Cary Grant and, I believe, Grace Kelly as well. Uh, obviously, it didn't work out. Uh, but th they used a couple of the sort of Hitchcockian elements. So, uh... Uh, north by Northwest, Terry Grant being chased by the crop duster. So here it's a helicopter, but uh, pretty interesting. Can you imagine a Alfred Hitchcock directed James Bond? Craziness. Look out, dude! Oh, the grenades that get you every time. It's not OSHA compliant at all. Must have allergies, says Mark. <laughs> Good old Armor Light. Good old Armor Light. If, if you don't know what Armor Light is, uh, the AR-15 is the Armor Light 15. So uh, there you go. Or 16, if it were. Beer prefers the 15, though. Wait a minute. No, I don't. I don't prefer any guns. Never mind. Never mind. Scrap that. Especially on a day like today, people. No guns. Hashtag no guns. <laughs> Hitchcock. Uh, so when the birds pluck out Bond's eyes. Not, not in this movie. Not in this movie. But uh, kind of interesting. All the variations that it went through before you get to the, to the movie that you see here. Pretty interesting. Originally, it was supposed to be Thunderbolt. That was going to be the first movie. It was too expensive, so they decided to do Dr. No. It's made for about a million dollars in Jamaica. This one was two million. Uh, Turkey. Uh, bits, bits in England. Um, I believe this scene and the boat scenes are in either um, Ireland or Scotland. So there we go. So you've had your foot chase, you've had your car chase, you've had action on a train, you've had your helicopter chase, and now you're going to get your boat chase, people. They are literally doing all of the chases, except for outer space and underwater. Yeah, he's taking a bath. <laughs> Uh oh, ri really? I, I, P Money Bear has literally not been paying attention for the past couple hours. So, oops, that's speaking of not paying attention. There we go. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. That's well, it. All comes full circle, man. It all comes full circle. Like, where's my, where's my martini hat? Oh yeah, yeah. I need another martini. All right. Cheers, everybody. 
Ah, it's war. Ah, war martini. Ah. See, Clem, that's what happens when you turn down a henchman's, you know, uh, uh, feelings towards you, even though you might be lesbianic. You know, he's like, okay, now you're dead, lady. You're dead to me now. I was sweet on you earlier, but not no more. Ah! What? I love his face here. He's like, why? Why me? Why me? I'm, I'm a chess champion. I don't even shake people's hands. People's hands on it. Yeah, poor guy. There is still time to get that MacGuffin, man. <laughs> I love how just playful she is. It's great. <laughs> I mean, for someone who's not an actress and who only had a couple roles after this and kind of minor bit parts, uh, she did really well. She did really well. Uh, just some of the minor stuff. Uh, uh, playful uh, uh, silliness that she has. I, I think it's great. I think it's awesome. Bond is still alive, but I, a 60-year-old, punched the guy and was sure he would get the job done. She was just following the plan of Kosenstein. Old Kosenstein got it, man. Got it with the old poison tip shoe. I can see why they did the boat scene. I, I can see why they did it, but I don't think it was as action-packed as it should be as kind of a, a, a almost mini-climax here. I, I, I don't know if boat chases are that exciting. And plus, they're not trying to kill them. They're, they're trying, to, trying to stop them. So you're firing a mortar out of a boat that's rocking to hit another boat. Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to be very accurate. Not the fuel! No, no, not her taking the wheel. That's even worse. She doesn't know how to drive. We've been drivers. Get out of here. <laughs> he looks at it through the binoculars. I couldn't see it right next to the boat, but uh, let me get the binoculars out. Oh my god! Let's stop right here and uh, make ourselves wonderful. The boom! That was almost Bear's thumbnail there, him shooting the uh, the flare gun. I'm glad I didn't have a a, a weapon themed um, a thumbnail for today. Probably the best. Probably the best up here. Oh my God! It burns! It burns! Quick, jump into the water, which is also on fire. Wait, no. Huh? No, why? What What are we doing? I don't know. Ah, 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 let me cool off. I don't know. Maybe he survived? Maybe? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the henchman survived or not, people. Don't go away. God forbid. I 
light tap of boats caused explosions. There you go, Puma. There you go. Oh no, not Cleb! Uh, how did I not see her? Like, didn't he know that she's like the head of the Smursh? And shouldn't he know that that's the... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there you go, P-Money. <laughs> great, great actress. I mean, the, the, just her face. Just her facial reaction there. It's great. See, now he figures it out. It's a little late, man. A little late. And I love the, the sort of back and forth where he's like, you know, how how dare you, how dare you, uh, you know, double cross me here. I thought we were in love. The girl's like, no, I got orders. I got orders here. But she still doesn't know. I guess Bond didn't tell her. <laughs> She's working for Spectre and not for the Russian government. So go figure. Look out, Bond. Oh, snap! Look out, Bond! Holy cow. James Bond's worst enemy, a 60-year-old woman. Look out. Even worse than Red Grant. Who's she gonna shoot? Who's she gonna shoot? Oh, no! Loretta Elena? Uh, Kostenstein, a uh, great, great actress. <laughs> she did a great job. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Watch it with that gun, lady. Careful. <laughs> oh, I forgot that line. Oh, that's funny. Come on, Mark. From Russia with <laughs> she was great. I, I, I honestly think. I, I honestly think she was just terrific here. Um, Daniela Bencini. Uh, not in really any other really films or movies out there, but did a great job. Uh, that was the director's wife that was uh, shooting uh, there from the, uh, from the bridge there. Pretty cool. It's so a lot of cameos. A lot of cameos from the uh, from the crew. <laughs> Pee Wee says, "Do you see all those birds? I told you, Hitchcock." <laughs> there you go, man. Do -do 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 -do. There you go, people. From Russia with love. We're going to return the next time. Goldfinger. Goldfinger. There you go, people. I hope all of you got to enjoy a really fun movie. I hope uh, you realize it's, it's literally a master class. Uh, not only in uh, filmmaking, but also uh, in, in script writing as well. Uh, did a great job with the um, a novel, translating it into a screenplay and making it into a great, great film. Uh, probably one or two behind Bear's favorite, that would be Goldfinger, but uh, uh, pretty darn close. Number two, number three, number four, something around there. 
really, really great, great movie, people. From Russia with love. <laughs> kind, of a, kind of a low rent of Frank Sinatra out here, but did a great job, great soundtrack, a great sound design, great film, uh, filmmaking, great actors, actresses. Um, I, I can't say enough great uh, things about From Russia With Love, one of Bear's, uh, definitely one of Bear's favorite films out there. I, I hope all of you got to enjoy along here with Bear uh, watching some of this great stuff here. Let me just jump into the chat here. A few good people out here. Oh, good to see you, Sam. Uh, yeah, we, uh, um, uh, uh, I didn't want to pivot so quickly. I wanted to do a little counter-programming where, um, uh, things were a little bit different. Um, From Russia with Love was one of JFK's favorite books. John F. Kennedy, President John F. Kennedy. It was the last film that he saw in the White House uh, before he, unfortunately, was assassinated. So, uh, I had no, this was not planned by any means here, but uh, it's just kind of interesting how, how things kind of circle around here. Uh, very interesting out there. So, uh, uh, thank you, Sam. Great, great to have you here. I hope you're doing well out there. Um, uh, if you missed the movie, I uh, just... Rewind it back and uh, go check it out. A great movie I'd recommend going either renting or definitely buying uh, from Russia with Love. You're um, definitely going to enjoy it. I, I know, I know Mark, I know P Money out here enjoyed it as well. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I fly to you from Russia with love. <laughs> There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, let me see. Um, if I'm missing anything, uh, I don't think so. Uh, but uh, anyways, thank you, Sam. Thank you for uh, joining us here today. want to thank good old P-Money, Marco for Anthony, all of our Russian bots and lurkers out there. want to thank each and every one of you uh, for joining us here today. Hope, Hopefully it took a little bit off. I know some crazy... Crazy news and situations out there. Uh, I know people, a lot, of, a lot of emotions out there. So hopefully we got to enjoy just a fun uh, movie, a fun trip back in time. Uh, we're going to do this again. We're going to show Bears, one of Bears' favorite movies, Goldfinger here, probably next month or two here. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, we always try to do some fun watch-alongs for you good people out there. But I want to say thank you to Everyone out here that got to check it out, I hope you enjoyed it as much as Bear did. Had a great time with you guys. But you know what? You know what? All of this talk, all this talk about From Russia with Love, somehow has made Bear hungry. So he's going to head back into the woods. So until next time, Thank <laughs> you. Night, everybody.